I'm Titi Torres, and I'm Puerto Rican and Black, and I'm the music director and an on-air personality for Hot 97. Growing up on the Bronx, when I was much younger, I lived 750 Grand Concourse. That was my building, and it was across from a park. And in the summertime, it used to be super lit over there. You could go out my building any given day on the weekend and hear rap music, salsa music, bachata, merengue, all different types of music. Then that's just the type of environment it was. It was just all cultures blended in one. And that's why I fell in love with music. Really, it's just that's what it was. You know, hip hop started in the Bronx. On any given day, somebody was rapping on a D train or somebody was rapping in that park right across from my building. Like it, it was just always something surrounded by music. And my senior year in high school, I was waitressing at a nightclub and all the radio personalities used to come in. And one day I asked them if I could be on the radio, if I could just come in and shadow them and they let me shadow them for a day. And that's when I knew that this could be something I could make a living out of. I went to college at Norfolk State and I got my first radio gig um, doing mornings for my college radio station. We were called The Breakfast Club with Tiffany and Russ. Those were my co-hosts. And I started doing radio um, from that moment on and I just took it serious. I think I had a lot of people that mentored me along the way. When we talk about you know, radio and the biggest people in radio, you know, Russ Parr, um, he had a nationally syndicated morning show. They would have local producers at different radio stations in different cities. And I was one of the people that ran his boards and produced his show for a local market in Charleston, South Carolina, while I was doing radio. And it was there that he discovered my talent. I used to send him my air check and he used to, I'm telling you, rip me to pieces. But he gave me criticism that I can take and do better. And so I took his criticism at, as constructively as possible and I made myself better. I knew that I had a skill and one of my skills was interviewing. And I remember one day I had an interview with then Senator Barack Obama before he became president. And I remember Ebro somehow got the wind of that interview and we were talking on Twitter and he wanted to get Barack or have a, some type of conference call with Barack for the morning show. And because I was working on his campaign, I was like, yeah, no problem. And so the opportunity came um, for me to go to Hot 97 because Ebro at the time um, sent my resume to Jay Dixon, who was the program director. I came into New York, I sat with him, I met with him, and uh, we talked about the transition of the radio station, where they wanted to go. And for me, at this point in my career, I wanted to um, be the person to make decisions. I have been on a radio pretty much my whole entire career, and I've done the biggest of the biggest interviews. And I wanted to be somewhere where I can call the shots, and I could not only be on the radio, but also be a part of the bigger infrastructure of the radio, which is why I'm now the music director at Hot 97, and then I do radio, you know, um, on the weekends. So I transitioned myself to think about myself in a bigger capacity. What is that? What does that look like? I want to be the boss. I'm Titi Torres, and I want to encourage you to always follow your dreams and your passion. Never stop. Never settle.